What's up, good people? I'm here. Yvonne, Malika, Akosua, or I'm here. I am a revolutionary too. In case you didn't recognize me, let me give it to you. I am the daughter of two revolutionaries, one Black Panther, a comrade fallen like the brother behind me, Christina Chuckles May, Minister of Culture. Illinois Black Panther Party. I am the daughter of Delbert Orr, Africa. Minister of Security and Defense for the MOVE organization and I stay on a MOVE. I'm not here to spit, I'm not here to share some poetic verse with you. I'm here to tell you just how pissed off I am on this day. May 13th, 1985, May 13th, 2021, a day of sunshine, and yet it's still a day that will live in infamy when my family, my 11 brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles were murdered, bombed by a black man. That happened. I'm here to let you know that even though you will let the fire burn, even though you will shoot our family back, even though those dry bones speak to us from the ancestral realm while sitting on a man's table and being carried in his briefcase, we still rise. I'm here because I am educated. I'm here because I am assimilated to be infiltrating what is usually called the social system as we know formally as slavery. We're living in it today, don't you know? We still breathing it in. We hear the tap, tap, tap of the gun, bang, bang, he shot me down. I was there. I was there when I was choked from a pandemic. I was masked up from birth because I was born by a river in the middle of an escape on the shores of Canada, Lake Ontario, because my mother was not allowed to exist in America. When my father tried to protest what we now know as healthy eating, raw food, sustainability, when my father tried to stand up with his comrades in Philadelphia, they shot them down. They stomped on the babies known as my cousins and they left them dead to breathe blood internally. I am here to tap in and let you know that you need to understand what we are up against. It's more than being masked. Let your mask down for a while. Put your hair off to the side. Do a little two-step for a second and wake up and recognize what you're dealing with. It's not for us. Population control comes in many forms. We've seen it through apartheid. One lone black man that we hold high. Population control comes in many forms. We've seen it from a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist, not yet a member of MOVE, uh, a brother of MOVE, and yet he is in jail, death row. He is in jail, sickness. 42 years, oh, <laughs> 42 years, they sat, they sat in jail. They sat, they sat untreated. They sat, nine men and women charged with killing one lone cop while being dredged with hundreds of thousands of gallons in a basement. And somehow that one bullet curved up from the basement and swung itself around like a movie to shoot the one unfortunate fallen soldier. We are the soldiers. What do you think this is? It's not a democracy democracy, it's not a conspiracy, it is meant to be the breakdown of all that is good in you and me. I don't necessarily care what color you are, I want to know if your heart has the color of love in its soul. Because if it doesn't, it's out of my control. 
It's not up to me. And whether I be a daughter of revolutionaries or not, I know my culture. I know my soul. I know my spirit, and I still got a little dance left in me, too. What you going to do about it? Anything? Are you helping each other to eat? Are you helping each other to meet the expectation of our collective dreams? What are you up to? You're pointing fingers while we are being shot down. Bang, bang, he shot me down. You're pointing fingers while we collectively can't breathe and we haven't been breathing for decades. You're rioting, you're tearing down buildings, our businesses. You're boarding up buildings that will never breathe again when they didn't have the money to breathe in the first place. And yet, still, they shoot us down. You know the phrase. Bang, bang, they shooting us down. What are you doing about it? It's not like I'm asking you to give me the actual answer. I'm asking, does your heart have some love left? While we tripping over reality shows and a Kardashian or two, at least she knew how to get Alice out. What did you do? I'm speaking to you off the cuff. I got enough up in me to have a whole lot of stuff to say. This is 50 plus years of revolutionary war that my family has been against. And yet, I went to school. Tap in, tap out. And yet, mm -hmm. I read, and yet, I loved, and yet, I lived, and yes, I got a spirit higher than me that I know is here, and a little preacher teacher up in me too. What did you do? When my grandmother had to flee from New Orleans at 13 because some white man raped her on a train, what did you do? When my father was in the Air Force and dishonorably discharged and could not get a job, could not get a home, could not do anything to help his growing family, what did you do? When my mother had to flee, a genius certified, Genius certified, I said it. When she had to flee after raid, after raid, after raid, what did you do? You made a movie. You thought it was enough. I'm telling you, we ain't up to snuff, people. I need us all to breathe a little bit better. I need us all to hold hands. I need us all to feel something in our soul for a change instead of standing and looking at him like he don't matter. You see a beautiful, beautiful Asian American, you shoot them down still? Who has rights up in this territory? I know I do. I suggest that you pay attention. Because what you don't want is someone this angry coming after you. You don't want this piece or two that I got to give. You don't want me trying to help my children to live any longer when I have the history of being burned alive on my bloodline. I'll calm down a bit, wipe my tears, allay my fears, slow it down. We're all here on this same earthly ground. What are we going to do? I've tapped in to share just a small piece of my heart with you unprepared. I've tapped in to let you know you can't do nothing with this soul because I am Yvonne Malika Akosawa or I'm born, born to tap in but I'm tapped out.